And greetings and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the supposed finale of Let's Play Dishonored Definitive Edition Brick More Witches, Low Chaos, cl Cleanest Hands, Silence is Golden playthrough. <laughs> yeah, she love Leo Supersonic and. Oh, wait, I forgot I forgot the. Um, enough coin to this beer playthrough. She love Leo Supersonic and in the last part we. Um, you know, continued our way through the manor. Collecting a buttload of coin, and now we are close to being done. We only need a few more coin and a few more little things to collect before we end things off once and for all. So the only thing that we have left to do is collect, collect a bunch of money. Which is going to be quite tricky because I need still need like 300 coins. Something, something in the long line that. Let's take a look. We need... About 340 coins. And oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I can still teleport my way. Aha! I see some money over there. There's also a witch in there, of course there is. See? Gonna see where you're okay, you're going that way. Hey, you're just gonna run you're gonna walk around in circles. I could just teleport my way up the chandelier. I mean Where are where are you? Okay, I just, I just saw a witch. Dude, man, I just saw a witch, man. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not telling you, I'm not crazy. I know for a fact I saw some whale oil thing in here. It's probably I'm sitting right on top of it. Yeah, there it is. Mine. Is there any other money things? There's something in there as well. But I wish to not get spotted. There's like a bunch of... Oh, there you are. No, no one? Go! Cut. Turn around. <laughs> Don't want to get spotted by the witch. She's probably going to turn around, walk through the door, walk in a circle, and go back through the door again. Well, when she goes through the door, there's like a bunch of stuff over there. I see some money things there as well. So that's what I might want to pick up. And I remember, I think there's like three way oil things at the end, which 30 coins each, so... There's like 90 coins at the end right there as well. So if I can manage to get over... Um, you know, if I only need like 80 or 60 coins, then I would be good to go. First things first, we're gonna take this witch out. And put her, well, here, so she doesn't choke. Oh, you're, you're facing through the rocks, little lady. There you go. Much better. Alright, making sure... There's no one surprising me. Okay, here's where I was before as well. So now things come full circle. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I see you still a bunch of money things in there, so that's that's good because I'm gonna need everything I can get right here, for instance. But oh, I'm right, right on top of it. So like 20 coins right there. Some bread, some hackfish. She's nice and all, but I see some more money things there some processed whale oils I think there's like three of them at the end as well so the more if I can get them the better now I can any more elixirs well I can get bolts I guess not because I use some on river cross that's why all right so pretty sure I cleared this area because I was here before yeah okay time to move on I need about 250 give or take alright that witch is just going that way is there any money things in here that I need to collect before I proceed on ahead I'm pretty sure that was it there's no more things in here okay if, can, if I can get like a big treasure and some small things then I'd be satisfied but now I've got to check where if there's like important things up there. Down there, I mean, not up there. Up there, where so much more babies burp and flowers grow. Alright, see, two. Two. Alright, two sisters. Switch, witch sisters. Witchsters. Not hipsters. <laughs> Witchsters. 
Um, so like anything. I know like near the end right now. All right, there's a witch there. There's another witch there. There should be like three of them around here. I saw three of them at least. There's nothing here. Nor up there. I don't want to just drop down. Going, ah, see, there's a witch like right there. Faffing about. Minding their own business. And if we can ignore her minding our own business, then all is well, all is right in the world. Uh, nope. Oh, yeah, that's why. Stupid, stupid witches. Hmm. I want to see that I have like six, so I technically I could take them out. But the one has not to be looking in my general direction. I think you're like the only one. Yeah, you're the only one. In this general area. Or I could freeze time. Why didn't I think of that before? Freeze time. And go right up there. No sweat. Alright. Much better. Yeah, just making sure that I don't miss anything. I'm going this way. Well, wasn't I here before? Like, this is where the... Oh. <laughs> well, that's the way you can also do this. Nothing. No. I'm going like the wrong way. No, I was here before, was I? Okay, this where... Oh, that's where I got that stuff, so... Just walk through here. How did I? Oh, just went through and then. Oh, I've gone through the door. You dumbass. Jeez. I just wasted some elixir right over there. I wasted all of my elixir things, man. It's a waste of. Waste of. Waste of resources. Um. Any. No? It's in, doesn't look like. There's some valuables down there. I want to not poop my head against something. Like a poking pole. There. Okay. Now there should be... Is there like any money things here? That's uh, over here. Anything else? That is not... That. <laughs> that is not that, you know. Um... I can pick these up, but I don't want to. No, I think that's it. So that only leaves the last room. And then after that, we are thing. I think we are done. So let me just save right there. I'm probably gonna have to do some backtracking and search for coins, and it's gonna suck because I only need like a, a select few, which is annoying. And I know there's like a third one right over here. There's three of them, not two. So I'm gonna have to. Is she right over here? No. There's two there, but I'm pretty sure there's like three of them. I'm not gonna search around for things, I guess. See, there's like three of them over there. But I'm pretty sure I don't need more than 90. Yeah. It needs, it needs to still like needs one heart something coin. And that's gonna suck. Right, um, choke dust, and sleep dart, and sleep dart, did that work? Yeah, and down they go, there's one, oh, too late, guess that doesn't work. Alright, let's start this again, this time with more gusto. Mm, no? Alright, guess we're gonna have to wait until the conversation ends, and then sneak up on them. Yeah, that seems like the, the best course of action. So now I know some of them are gonna, like, teleport around these places. 
So I'm gonna have to be very careful with that. Mm, yeah. All right. So let me just go over here. All right. She's gonna teleport to one of these places at the top. And I'm not sure which one. Just gotta make sure I get her on time. Let's see. There you are, there's one over there. She is. No. No. Not this way. Ah, there she is. She's not now over there. Now over there. And down she goes. So, she's now not just faffing about. Now I have the time to take them out one by one. When they're not looking. See, what, that one over there, I can use a sleep dart on that girl. Alright. Now you. I believe that's all of them. I swear to God, the last time there were three of them. Maybe not this time. All right, guess so. Uh, guess not. Probably right, gives me good sense to uh, search things around. Don't think you have no. You don't have. Of course, you have not have anything. See money things in here? Just bolts and elixirs. No. You have some whale oil. Some notes and yeah <laughs> I think that's it around here yeah so if we take a look at our coin total we still need 150 coins so this is going to suck but I'm gonna have to backtrack and search the place for coins which is not gonna be fun so I'm gonna spare you all the details and wait, what's that up there? So like coin things? Some have big treasures? No, okay. So I guess I'll save right here. And I'll meet you back when I find some coins. And if not, then I'll meet you back here if I don't find any more more coins, which would suck because I'm really close to the end. So I'll see you back in a second. After <laughs> searching and searching and searching, I think I'm back. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Um, I sc scoured some things around to probably splice the footage in where I found things, and didn't mean to do that. And I've <laughs> got 60 coins left. And I think it's the last place I still need to check, and I see an urn there, and I believe that it was like 100 or 150. So that should push me over the 10,000 coins uh, edge. So, decided to know show to you hopefully this should be enough okay good I can finally get the hell out of here Let's see there we go and take a look at our total yep 10,091 coins finally Jesus Christ I had to do a lot of searching but I found it so I'm satisfied so um, that's really what I wanted to tell you so I will meet you back at um, the Lila's portrait before we enter the void so I'll see you back in a second all right we're back at the painting so with all of our 10,000 coins in hand we're gonna set the land in the painting and watch well deal with Delilah once and for all the non-lethal way and we're gonna do something interesting with this no 
neutralizing Delilah with a spoon. He could use a probably use a sleep dart on her, but we're not going to. We're gonna do something something quite funny. You have many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites. But I will watch this with unusual attention. Well, yeah, and that's the final time we're gonna see the outsider in Dishonored. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna take a leap, well, <laughs> drop of faith, or <laughs> trip of faith. Oh god, smack! Time to see what and, we're, well, we're gonna do something funny, we're gonna do something that serves her right. She, she's going to trap Emily, or take her essence and she's gonna put herself into Emily's skin but I don't want it to happen you know she's a bit of a bitch and we need to take care of her so she's gonna do her little ritual to you know get into Emily because she's painting and uh, she got a lock of Emily's hair and that's how she becomes Emily but that's why we're gonna do that we are gonna go this way and find a suitable replacement painting She's gonna trap herself in there instead of the, you know, M when she switches with Emily. So her branches for me. We're gonna do. We're pretty much gonna replace the painting and just watch the magic happen. So yeah, she's gonna perform a ritual right now. If she does perform the ritual, you're gonna get a game over. So. You're gonna wait for that and you know, wait for the statues over here. So we're gonna wait until her back is turned or use time freeze, <laughs> switch the paintings and then watch her perform the ritual right here. But now, um, you know, we gotta watch the show, switch the paintings, and then that's where we're, you know, we are done. But now I gotta wait for her until she stops appearing, just goes away, performing the ritual. So as you see on the subtitle season, she's a bit of a lunatic. Power is too deep, too strong, too fast, too fast, go fast. Come on, Delilah, good to go. Yeah, it's a very nice painting and all. All right, let's see. Freeze time. Place painting, and get out. All right, now I'm gonna watch the magic happen, and that should be all on Kidori. Brush touches paint. Brush touches canvas. Brush touches void. And now I see you, Emily Caldwin. I breathe your breath. I can feel what you do. The bright mornings in the pub. I feel the cold night air of the ruin where you sleep. And the stink of the river. Image strikes the eye. Eye touches the mind. Mind touches the world. I feel your love for Corvo Atano and your lost mother. For your caretaker, Callista. I feel your fear in the night. Your hunger to learn. To become someone important. My hunger too. My fear. You are becoming mine. We are nearly finished. Close your eyes, Emily. Sleep forever. Feel the void open beneath you. 
Make room for me. Give in to me, Emily. Give in to me now! Hate flows. Blood flows. Life goes. Out with the old, in with the new. You've lived in his bones long enough, sweet young girl. Finished. It is complete. I am... What? What's happening? This is all wrong! What am I becoming? Outsider's blood! Is this some trick? Go! And that is it. Silence is gone. Clean his hands. Hands. No. Oh, maybe we'll get that later. So yeah, that's it. We didn't kill anyone. Ghost never detected. So I was right. So you can kill the hounds, and you still uh, doesn't negate the kill anyone trophy. We found the crypt. We completely grand recipe, and we find the Lala. <laughs> we trapped the Lala copper spoon. Now let's watch our well-deserved ending, and then I'll. Uh, say goodbye from there on out. No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter to someone, somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Circonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. You make an eloquent plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Cold Ridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now. There I go. Change ways and hopefully we get the enough coin to disappear. Oh, that was a pain in the ass to do. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of my Dishonored Let's Play. We've beaten Dishonored, low, High Chaos, Low Chaos, all trophies. The Knife of Dunwall, High Chaos, Low Chaos, all trophies. And now the Brickmore Witches, High Chaos, Low Chaos, all trophies. So I'm very pleased with that result. So yeah, this finishes up Dishonored. I know there's the you know, the Dumbbell City Trials, but I explained why I'm not going to cover it. 
because I do not have the skill to fully complete it, which I would be a very bad stain on my, you know, let's play mark, I guess. I don't know, it's something about, you know, not fully completing the game is, you know, I don't really like that. But, yeah, I'm not covering the Dawn City Trials because I'm not good enough to complete it fully. So, that um, concludes the Knife of uh, the Brickmore Witches. Which is a, you know, a nice continuation of the Knife of Donald story. Um, the missions, they, well, they feel longer. Especially the second one. The second one is the, probably the longest mission if you, you know, combine all DLCs. Uh, definitely not the hardest. I think the hardest one to do low chaos is still the, um, the third mission from the Knife of Donald. You know, Dow's Hideouts with all these Overseer guys everywhere. It's a pain in the ass to do. But this one wasn't too bad, except for the last one, well, it wasn't too bad because I really had to go out of my way to get coins, and that was the pain in the ass part. So that was the, you know, the hardest part of getting all 10,000, getting 10,000 coins for the disappear with enough coins matter. But that is that, so, um, I don't think I have anything else to, you know, music and everything, the voice acting is still pretty good. No, my Michael Madsen still returns as doubt. So that's all nice and fun and stuff. So um, I think final pin of the game yet again. Um, if you look at the total package for Dishonored Definitive Edition, I lastly saw I you can get this for like twenty bucks, which I, I think is a pretty good deal for twenty bucks. Not too expensive. You can get like a full game and two, you know, store DLCs and the you know some city trials, which is always nice. You can get that for for twenty bucks. It's not so bad. I mean, you can, you can do a lot worse. So um, I hope hopefully this um, let's play slash guide slash was to your uh, slash uh, playthrough was to your liking. I really did my best on it. Well, it wasn't too much of a hassle because I really loved this game. So playing through this a couple multiple times was not a, a big deal. I mean, that's some annoying. Um, instances when no getting spotted by anything or glitches that happen. Well, glitches were not game breaking; they were more cosmetic changes. And as you saw with the second Delilah witch at the hard, <laughs> the high cast playthrough, and some weird shenanigans where in the original game where you know the assassins fail to appear to to load normally because they were standing in midair or fell to their death in midair. That was kind of weird when it happened, but. Still fun game to last. It's not game breaking. Still weirded out by that one error that appeared though. Maybe I threw that skeleton in the corner and that caused the game to crash or something like that. At least I couldn't reload that save so I had to... It was really not big of a deal so I had to reload an auto save and everything was all honky dory and I could play the game from there or not. So yes, um, I'm very looking forward to this honor too. Um, I'm not sure what the timer date is going to be uploaded, but in E3 they're probably going to announce something with that, December 2, when it's coming out maybe, uh, what the progress is on that, what they're going to add future features on that. I would say I'm going to be looking forward for that, and hopefully and that will be the next time I'll return to the Dishonored universe, and Dishonored, and Dishonored universe, but I want to keep it like this, you know. Uh, for the design, I don't want to do a blind playthrough, I really want to play um, like this, where I fully know what I'm doing, I'm getting all the weapons and getting all the most out of the game. But I'm going to have to do some playthroughs for that and, you know, get the Platinum Trophy and things myself again. So I'm going to have to take some time for that. And it also depends when it comes out. Hopefully, may maybe the run of end of this year, maybe beginning of next year. I'm not not entirely sure about that. So I've covered Dishonored two shortly. That's next time I'm gonna return to the Dishonored universe. Not that like any more games. Well, yeah, it was like Thief and everything that looks like this the Thief series and maybe Assassin's Creed. I don't know if you play something like this. Well, it's third person not first person. That's different. I got like an Assassin's Creed collection which I once bought on the PS3. Got like 1, 2, 3 and all of the PSP ones on the PS3. And I don't have 4 or 5 in it, all of that stuff. I'm still gonna play one and see how that all fits out. 
But yeah, um, yeah, the gameplay wise, is, I don't think I have anything else to mention. I, uh, oh, you probably wonder what the next project is going to be. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna have two things coming up for you guys. Uh, one game is gonna be Spire the Dragon for the PlayStation, and the other one is going to be um, Tomb Raider Blind Run. Yeah, you probably all Tomb Raider Blind Run. So you like the new game? No, the original Tomb Raider. That that's what I bought on the Steam library, and it happened to be the 20th anniversary of Tomb Raider, which I didn't think about it at the time. Because look at the game was 96, you know, 20th anniversary. So that's always fun. Um, yeah. So um, uh, as of this now, uh, as of this time, I'm already re recording. And um, this, you know, I'm recording some Tomb Raider right now. I still haven't started Spyro because I wanted to finish off this game first. And since now I'm finished with this game, I can start recording Spyro on my head. And by the time this is uploaded, I probably have some more games recorded in the meantime. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm not uploading for a very long time. I can, I can keep this up just fine. I got like a bunch of parts <laughs> waiting. Still need, still need some editing. But I don't think I got anything else to mention. I've mentioned my next project, what's the next things I'm going to upload. I'm not sure what the upload schedule for that is going to be. I'm going to have to figure that out. But yeah, um, I think I'll leave it off over here. I don't have anything else to mention. So thank you all for watching. This is your lovely Supersonic signing off. See you then. Uh, thank you all for, thank you very much for watching my Dishonored playthrough. And. Take care, I'll see you at Spyro and or Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 1 blind. So, have, a, have yourselves a fantastic day and take care.